Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mission Makeover. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Jamie Eason. And our gals have been kicking it hard with weekly workouts, lifestyle changes, modified diets, all for one reason, better health. Yep, today we're providing the girls with some food for thought, knowledge and insight to impact change no matter how large or small. And it all starts right now, so don't you go anywhere. I'm not going to fail this time. This is going to be a lifestyle change. This is going to be all new you. Think about what's holding you back and where you're going. This is going to be a journey we're all going to go on together. The ladies started their day here at Bond Adventure's beautiful Alea Spa, finding their inner chi, and then sitting down with life coach Dr. Jessica to talk about that and their inner demons. bow down into yourself and honor yourself for showing up today and honor this beautiful practice that we call yoga. Namaste. 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 Thank you, Felice. It was great. Have great. a great day. You too. Thank you. Yoga kickstarts my morning, gives me a lot of great energy. Um, it really gives you that me time to really just focus on what your day is going to become. This morning, you were asked to focus on your balancing, focusing on things that are important without distractions. You were working on breathing, on your mindfulness, and all of those things are what we are supposed to work on every single day to be able to conquer the world. And for you ladies, some of the things that are really important are being able to form your habits in your workouts and of course with your eating. So what I wanted to be able to do today is I really wanted to get an idea of how you're using that inner dialogue and some of those positive things that you're experiencing in your everyday life. When I find my mind racing, even in yoga, I know that it's okay to block everything else out. That helps me do that in real life. Well, Dr. Jessica, the challenge for me is time. I'm in, we all talked about having time during the day. I have so many things going on. That's been a challenge, fitting it all in and listening to the good person on the side saying, you can do this, you can fit all this in. And that's what I struggle with. We are all given the same 24 hours. There's nothing, there, it, it exists. So what do we do? We've got to take control of the things that we can. I actually had a mini meltdown breakthrough after one of our sessions with Janie. I know I'm crying right now, but it's not in sadness. I just finished Jamie Eason's emergency workout plan. I just got so emotional because I'm finally doing it. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm finally doing something for me. And it's never felt better. Thoughts are, are related to everything. That you, you, Your feelings can't just pop in without having a thought that triggers that. So even more so to go even deeper is being able to kind of prepare and have a preventative approach. I think for me the struggle in the beginning is really looking at the amount of weight that one has to lose and you can definitely get caught up in the number um, and get stuck on that. It's a struggle for me while I'm working out to not equate that while I'm working out and it's a daily thing for me. Like I'm literally like, no, <laughs> like I'm shutting it down in my head and just like, this is for me, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anybody else to prove it to anybody else. I commend all of you in being able to really transform the way you do things. You're being asked to completely go outside your comfort zone, to do things at different times and in different ways than you were ever asked. And all of that is difficult, but not impossible. I am just so thankful that I got to meet with you guys in the morning because now you get to take all of this from what you got from here, what you got from your yoga, and you get to start off your day on the right foot, like a clean slate, and have the most incredible day. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. The inner dialogue that they're supposed to be practicing with is really um, getting challenged by this word elimination and what if, what if. I set my, my mind up to, you know, hope for the best but expect the worst. Namaste and great session ladies. Want to see more of Dr. Jessica's discussion with the girls? Head over to the website. But the day is still young because when we return, the girls learn healthy ways to fuel up without adding time to their already busy schedule. Stay right there.
welcome back. I bet many of you out there, just like our ladies, find it difficult to eat healthy with all that prep and planning. And I bet you're even missing the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Well, we've got today for you a lot of wholesome options for the entire family. So today we're gonna get some great nutritional knowledge from Jamie Eason, and I can't wait. It sounds to me like you ladies really need some help with kickstarting your morning. I know with me, I have a hard time finding that balance between work and family, and then trying to fit in my workouts and eating right, it's, it's hard. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> well, you're in luck, because with me today, I have internationally renowned registered dietitian and self-proclaimed qualitarian Ashley Koff, who believes better nutrition is simple, it's just not always explained that way. Welcome, Ashley. Thanks for having me. It's Hi. great to meet you guys. Hi. Yeah. Better nutrition is really does focus on the quality. So it's not that there are whole food groups that we shouldn't eat. Um, it's really what do we eat within those whole food groups. I brought with me some of my friends today. So we have wild veggie organic purees and we have our breakfast bowls which have organic uh, grains in them. And then we have Nature's Path organic cereals. You're gonna keep hearing me say organic. So what I want you to know in here is the organic and also means non-GMO means that's that better quality. What we're talking about there is actually just food, how it's made in nature. So there's just nothing else done to it. It's not highly processed, doesn't have all those artificial ingredients. Also, when you get food in its whole form, you get all of those minerals. Minerals are what come in carbohydrate and they're what help us with disease prevention, things like diabetes, um, they keep our bones strong. Lots of different options there, but we really want to go for that great taste. It's hard for me to find something that both me and my son like. The win here is that it's great tasting and it's also good for you. And it's also portion control. And how long do the breakfast bowls take to make? The greatest part about the wild veggie breakfast bowls is that they only take two minutes. How is that possible? Yeah, so they're pre-cooked and they're in your freezer. But I'm glad you don't believe me because we, we don't think like, <laughs> I don't. No, but I think it's fair to say we don't think today that we can have something that's actually really that good quick, for us that quickly, right. right? Anyone hungry? Has anyone had breakfast? No. no. Starving. Wait, hold on. Nobody You're has had breakfast? I had a protein, protein shake. Protein okay. Protein shake. So you had a protein okay. shake. Yeah. Liquid nutrition, you know, it can be such a great option if you're not hungry in the morning or if you feel like, oh, my digestion might be a little bit off, maybe from the night before, or that sort of thing. Um, but the other reason that I love it is it is such a great way to get in vegetables at breakfast, vegetables in your smoothies. Vegetables? I'm thinking it's gonna take a lot of time to prep the vegetables. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like you don't wanna have to cut up all of the different vegetables yeah, yeah, yeah. and do all that stuff. So like you're that. so excited about my solution here, which is we've got wild veggie purees. They're organic vegetable purees in a container like this that you literally open and you put in here nice. and done. And you can close it back up and use the other, or maybe you wanna blend a couple of different flavors. You've got butternut squash, you've got beet, you've got broccoli. Does the company provide recipes for creative variety? If you go to wildveggie.com, you'll get all of these different recipes, and that's helpful to also know what portions you know to play with. However, I want you guys to play. What you wanna do is remember that yes, the recipes are there, but they're a starting point. I am so excited for you guys to try the veggie purees to be able to make a smoothie, but also to come back to the breakfast bowls and see just really that difference of how filling and satisfying whole grains with a little bit of fruit is uh, in the morning. So you can make it in two minutes, as we discussed, yeah. because it's already you know been cooked. Um, so actually, let's go taste them. Awesome. Right? Yeah. Okay, great. So the ladies have learned some simple ways to kickstart their day, but we're not stopping there. Next, we join the ladies and trainer Billy Beck for some supplemental training. Even though today's not a regular workout day, I'm excited to see what Billy has in store for us. Part of the Mission Makeover goal is to educate and empower you, but without turning your whole life upside down. And sometimes there might even be some things that you need and we don't even realize it. Yeah, so for today's supplemental training session, I want to introduce you to an awesome line of specialized supplements that I know really well. Yep, we've got a special treat for you. We've got Dr. Cedarquist. She is a highly respected expert in the field of medical weight loss. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you guys doing? How's the program going? Doing great. Yeah. Great. Are you finding that you're making progress, that you're losing weight? Yes, yeah. um, I'm a little concerned because I haven't lost as much weight as I think I should by now. Yeah, I'm kind of like at a standstill. Okay, well, you know, I may be able to shed some light on why. I looked at all of your lab work, and you know you had extensive lab work, looked at hormone levels, vitamin levels, cholesterol, blood sugar, and I found that each and every one of you 
had a metabolic condition called insulin resistance. It's a metabolic condition that makes gaining weight easy and losing weight harder. So all of you are battling that to some degree. In addition, every single one of you came back really low in vitamin D. Now, low vitamin D makes that metabolic condition, that insulin resistance, it makes it harder to, to treat. So by helping improve vitamin D levels, we may really be able to see a breakthrough. Doctor, how is it possible that women that all live in Florida could be all deficient of vitamin D? I mean, are they avoiding the sun or what's the story there? Several reasons. You know, we do make vitamin D in our skin from the sun, but if your skin is darker, you don't make as much. If you wear sunscreen, it also blocks it out. A lot of us don't want to get wrinkles and photo oh, yeah. aging, so <laughs> we avoid the sun, um, so you can be lower in D. We also know that D is fat soluble, so it gets stored in our fat tissue. So people who are carrying a little bit more weight, the vitamin D gets sequestered in the fat and it's not available to us. So I came up with a recommendation because you all shared that issue. And I was going to recommend a great product from Pure Encapsulations. I also picked for you a product that's called Metabolic Extra. Metabolic Extra contains a, something called berberine, alpha lipoic acid, resveratrol, and it also has some chromium. And all of those um, ingredients are very helpful in helping with healthy insulin levels as well and healthy blood sugar metabolism. Not all supplements are created equal. One of the many reasons why I love Pure Encapsulations is because they're hypoallergenic. It's important to look for products that don't have any hidden fillers, coatings, or artificial colors. Also something that is wheat-free, doesn't have any gluten, no nuts, or hydrogenated oils, all the stuff we don't want. It's very important to me, the level of purity testing that they have with this company. They primarily sell their product to doctors you know, so it's very high levels. You know, unfortunately, when you get supplements, sometimes it can say it has a certain amount of something in it, but it doesn't. You know, and for me, you know, I need to know that what I'm giving people has what I think it has. You know, so I really trust the line and uh, have used it for years. So Dr. Cedarquist, can I ask you, where would we get these supplements? These supplements are really only available through your doctor's office or other healthcare provider. But for all of you, we have a six month supply of the vitamins and ones that are specific to your issues. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you you're so welcome. Much. Yeah, we wish you the best success with your journey. Ladies, you ready to train? Huh? Same one? <laughs> I'm just kidding, you got the day off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited to have the right supplements for me to help me reach my nutritional goals. But what's even better is to take these for the next six months so we can come back and see what a positive difference they've made for us. Up next, we're whipping up some favorite recipes with a celebrity chef that all have a sweet calorie saving twist. How do you make your favorite recipes and save calories without sacrificing flavor? Good friend and celebrity chef Nick Stellino joins our mission makeover nutritionist, Meryl Brandwine, to show the ladies and us how it's done. Hi ladies. Hi. So I gave you a homework assignment. You were all going to give me your recipes that were either comfort foods or sweet treats or indulgences that you felt like you were missing out on. And so the point of that is that we're gonna show you simple ways to make substitutions so that you can include them in your diet and learn how to balance them and keep them in moderation. Today we're here with Chef Nick, who is gonna show us some examples of substitutions for those sweet treats. Hi ladies, are you ready to learn how you can create comfort foods that can do without beverages without sacrificing flavor or your mission goals? Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought so. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Born Sweet Zing. This stevia sweetener has a delicious sweet taste without any aftertaste, made with only real ingredients, no artificial ingredients. I wanted to show you ladies how, with a few simple low-calorie swaps, you can still enjoy some of your favorite beverages. Yeah, no family gathering is complete without our southern sweet tea. Well, Rochelle, I think you will be excited about our peach perfect iced tea. We added some fresh mint, zing, zero calorie packets, and it's four of them. A splash of lemon juice, 
your favorite tea bags, a little peach nectar, and you have a deliciously sweet peach iced tea. Only 35 calories and zero grams of fat. Wow, this is pretty close. Reminds me of family. Now, Patricia, I also wanted to share with you our iced cappuccino. All you need is your favorite instant coffee, 1% milk, non-fat evaporated milk, a little brown sugar, some vanilla extract, zinc, zero calorie stevia, and semi-sweet chocolate with only 120 calories and 2.5 grams of fat. Wow, that really is good. It's a great alternative to my what used to be my morning coffee. Now I can have it all over again. So Debbie, what is one of your favorite indulgences? Comfort food. Chipotle pecan brownies are my favorite. I love the blend of spicy and sweet. Well, Debbie, <laughs> I think you will love the lower calories black bean brownies just as much. By swapping out the flour for black beans, this brownie is also gluten-free. You get a good dose of protein. You will want to use Zing, a baking brand, five calories per serving, two grams of carbohydrates per serving. Let me show you. We start out with the black beans. Now, what we've done ahead of time, we already mashed the black beans. So from this consistency, this is the consistency that you're going to have. The next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna add the other ingredients. So we go with the eggs, then we go with the Zing, then we go with the vanilla. Then we put some of the applesauce in there. And then we go with the cocoa powder. Then a little bit of canola oil. All right, now the magic moment comes. That's when we add the chocolate. So here we go with this. Folded, ah, ah, there is a rebel who tried to escape. I got you, buddy. <laughs> You put it back in and we're basically ready. All that we have to do now is to put this in the pan and to bake it until it's ready. Okay, ladies, so we have some delicious brownies. Who wants to try? Me. <laughs> this is a great approach to eating healthy. Just remember to use moderation and balance when you choose to indulge. Chef Nick, we want to thank you for being here and bringing a sweet taste of excitement to the ladies' mission. Ladies. Thanks for having me. It's always great to cook with friends, and I hope to leave you today with some food for thought. I cannot believe we can have black bean brownies. I never would have thought of using them in baked goods. I'm excited to have sweet tea. I thought I would miss it this whole mission. Next week, Chef Nick is back with the rest of our ladies and their favorite recipes. Remember, lots more fun stuff on the website and Facebook. Check it out. The official stats are next. Keep it right here. We're back. Wow, those are some great recipes. I have to try those. And you know, we're both Southern gals, so I think we need to try Rochelle's tea. Oh, cheers to that. And in the meantime, here are this week's stats. Debbie started at 189 pounds. She's down seven pounds this week, reaching a total of 13. Brandy checked in at 270 pounds. This week, she's down nine pounds. Her total, 17 pounds. Nicole started at 261. She's down five pounds this week, reaching a total of 14 pounds. Rochelle began at 237 pounds. She's lost two pounds this week and a total of almost 12. Nikki weighed in at 224 pounds. With an eight pound loss this week, her total is now 17 pounds. And finally, Patricia began at 211 pounds. She lost four this week, so her total is 11 pounds. Great job, ladies. I have a feeling those numbers will continue to impress. Absolutely. You know, that's our show for today, but we want you to head over to our website, Facebook page. We got lots of insider info. We got some behind the scenes, maybe some bloopers. So much there for you to see. See you next Monday on another edition of Mission Makeover. Here's to good health. So long, everybody. Mission Makeover brought to you in part by Zing, a taste of sweet excitement.